the next award goes to individual artist Michael Polson. Michael grew up on a ranch in Cody, Wyoming. His studio is still in Cody, Wyoming. And by his work, he captures uh, many of the magnificent views we have in Wyoming and beyond. He's had work in the Capitol here in Cheyenne. He's had work in Washington, D.C. He's a cancer survivor, and that impacted his life greatly. And through that, and through his work, he has enriched all of our lives. My heart was here in Wyoming, and the very first, we, we came during the summer months at the, to, to the ranch. We had about a 15,000 acre ranch. The very first time I came here and came down from the mountains into Cody, I knew that it just seemed familiar to me and that this, this is where I wanted to spend the rest of my life. It's an incredible story. You know, from his story from being diagnosed with leukemia to, to now, um, he's put every piece of energy and passion to every piece of his art. I'm almost 60 years old. And for a former transplant patient to be doing this, is, it's unheard of. Three mornings uh, a week I go, Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays to play basketball. I'm, I think going back, uh, with hindsight, of course, uh, the experience uh, enriches your lives and gives you a different perspective. Michael Polson really embodies uh, the, the independence, the detail, the spirit of the American West. If you look at any books about Charlie Russell, you, you see that he left home and came west at age 13. Uh, I also noted that uh, Harry Jackson, uh, famed sculptor and artist, uh, he came west at the age of 13. It just so happened that uh, my, th my 13th birthday was spent here in Wyoming and I ended up staying here. You draw from within uh, with painting. It's, it's not just the world as it, as it looks through the human eye, it's the world as it looks through the spiritual and the human eye. I've been painting since I was uh, 19. I haven't stopped, with the exception of the time when I was blind for five months and for intermediate times when I was really sick with leukemia. I'd still have my easel there next to my bed and still trying to paint. He has shown his work um, in Russia, um, in the U.S. Capitol. He has his portraitures hanging in uh, the Pentagon. When you look at how he has impacted Wyoming's art and, 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 and showcasing Wyoming and Western art to the world, uh, I think he is a deserving nominee. The way it has affected me through my painting is I become much more appreciative of the time that I have when I'm feeling good and work. My hours, my productivity is way up over than what I, even thinking that that was my prime. My prime now is really now. He teaches a class in the winter. I'm trying to grow for artists and teaching you know the techniques. We're here at the Buffalo Bill Historical Center where I teach a class on painting from the masters. The whole premise on teaching this class is to learn how to paint like this individual. Take for instance Charlie Russell. He has a lot of patience which is wonderful and encourages us which is uh, important. Just saw this as a really great opportunity to um, learn uh, and paint with someone like Mike, that opportunity doesn't come along very often, someone of his caliber. This is a perfect uh, old school method of training of artists in Europe for hundreds of years. Uh, they didn't have access to color photographs, books, and so this was the way that they'd come in, set up in front of a painting that they liked uh, a style, perhaps, something that they could learn uh, and, you know, that would help guide them on the way. Mike, and as a teacher, he brings his, his background in, in the works that he's done and his experience doing that and looking at the masters and himself learning from the masters and brings that to us, the students. Well, what I think the students particularly are afraid of is, is if our critique their work. And, but they, what they realize is that I was in the same place they were. I've lived here eight years, but it was one of the reasons that we decided to move to Cody. I liked um, all the uh, art classes that were available, and, and the museum itself is wonderful. Uh, well, Mike is one of the finest artists in the country, 
and we have him on exhibition here in the Whitney Gallery of Western Art, which is part of the Buffalo Bill Historical Center. So Mike is here with other artists like Thomas Moran and Albert Bierstadt, Frederick Remington, and Charles Russell. I think that, that Mike's involvement here helps other artists, and, and when you have a group of artists working of the caliber that, that Mike is, um, and then you have other artists who are emerging, uh, that all comes together in a great synergy here in our community. It's just more for me, it's just relaxation and, and just being able to, um, you know, be around other people that are artists. First uh, met Michael Polson in uh, uh, either 19, nine, well, 1997, then it would be, uh, when we commissioned him to do a, a painting for my husband's office in Salt Lake. And it, it ended up that we bought uh, this ranch and I called Michael and uh, uh, it turns out that the, the ranch was uh, one that Michael uh, was raised on. I, I, took, a, I took a test in, and I think it was in a comic book and I was about 16 or 17 years old and I sent it in and a representative from the art school came to our home and talked about my parents sending me to this art school. I believe it was in Minnesota. Well, my dad, we were, you know, he told me, quite frankly, that we were land rich but dirt poor. <laughs> and uh, being a, a drill instructor and a former Marine himself, as well as his father, um, I decided to join the Marine Corps so that I could use the GI Bill to put me through school. He's just so easy to work with. I mean, he'll point out certain things and just even if you make a mistake, it's just like, eh, just paint over it. Michael is one of the few artists that uh, uh, still can, can do all the uh, elements that draw all the uh, figures together and tell stories. That's one reason why I uh, appreciate the type of art he does. It's and, and, and that's the one thing great about living here in Cody, the Rendezvous Royale and the art show in the fall. Because of Mike's involvement with the Buffalo Bill Art Show and Sale for 31 years, he's been quite a champion for not only Cody, Wyoming as a destination place to come to enjoy the arts and the culture we have to offer here, but also to promote new artists. Mike is someone who's always looking for new artists to help them develop in the field he loves so much. And it's, it's helped me because actually in the last year I've done two or three of my own little paintings on the side now. So, Congratulations. Uh, it's well deserved. You've had a wonderful career and I uh, wish you the best of luck in the future. I couldn't be more pleased that this honor uh, goes to him. He just is the embodiment of the perfect artist. My class is going on, my students have set up their easels and are painting, so let's uh, head to the first student, see what they're doing.